Well, here we are. We are at Hornsey Mere, which is a freshwater lake near Hornsey. Over in the distance, we have some swans and their babies, the cygnets. One, two, three, four, at least four adult swans and uh, maybe at least four juveniles. Can't really see. <laughs> it's quite a long way with my eyes. Anyway, let's go over here. For those of you who have followed me, I actually went to Wasand Hall and we walked around the gardens. Well, this lake is part of the Wasand Hall estate. A few more birds over there, or are they boys? I think they might be boys for something. Anyway, there's a, it's a bit of a boating lake. And uh, typical, as always, when we come out, the coffee shop is shut. This dog, Boston. Hello. Almost got his tongue on the lens. Just been doing his business. You manage? Mm -hmm. What a dragonfly. That's a big one. Yeah, I thought they might have. Um, Might have gone because of the cold weather. Yes, you know it's getting cold when you have to turn the shower from number 10 to number 11. More swans over there. At least six or seven of them. And right over in the distance will be more swans by the looks of it. There's dozens. Look, there's four over there. A dirty dog, he's just had a drink of water out of the lake. <clears throat> Was that tasty, dog? Yeah, eh? Yeah, Did he?
Oh, that's a nice little island. I wonder if who lives on an island like that. Not me. Oh, keep getting cobwebs across my face. Yeah. The dog's just tied me up in knots. There we go. Come on, dog. Let's go. Well, I wonder what's in that box there. Bit old. Been there a long time. I don't think anyone's taken the lid off. Mm. It must be getting off about half past twelve now. Twenty to one. Well, I managed to turn it round uh, without completely screwing it up. Anyway, isn't it lots of midges here? But isn't it a glorious day? I can't believe that we've had such such nice weather this week already. When I went out to Hornsey Seafront. A few days ago, that was absolutely brilliant. I should have brought the drone down today. Would have been ideal. But the drone's at home. Mm -hmm. We've just seen some signposts. Some information boards. Let's turn you around and have a look. Oh, there you go. We've got some, blimey, some yay oldy seaplanes. Last flying bird to land on the Mere was Walrus, Hutton. Dating from yeah. the 1930s. Oh, wow, wow, there you go. Submarine Walrus, that's that one. Mm -hmm. I do like seaplanes and I do like biplanes. So obviously seaplanes that are biplanes have got to be my favourite. That number five is a short Sunderland on the coastal patrol. There we go. Kirkhelm Air Station. There we go. Ah, that's what it was. That, so that, um, what is now used for the yachting brigade was the old uh, air station. Well, I never. Yeah, and maybe I did Yeah. Well, maybe I said Yeah, that. yeah. But it was, Yeah. And there we go, even further back. This is 1913. The, uh, the water hen Hydroplane visits the Hornsey Horse Show in 1913. Wow, look at that. That's uh, something else, isn't it? It's a bit, it's a bit like the Wright Brothers aircraft, but with uh, floats. Well, I never, I never knew a plane like that existed. But obviously, during the war, when uh, when runways were being bombed. Taking off from the water was probably the best option for some aircraft. Now we're coming up to the boats.
that water, how clear it is. Be careful not to put my foot in the wrong place. Or so I should be in that water. Oh, blimey. Never done that before. This is a first. Well, the dog just jumped in. He's never done that before. He's always been scared of the water. Go on. Off you go. Wow, this is a first. He's always been scared. Come on. Hey, come on, chicken. Wow. The dog's almost nine years old, and it's the first time he's jumped in the water on his own. And there, up there, is the uh, old, it's a coffee shop now, which is shut down. And so uh, I do believe in, people live in there. That's the putting green hut. Oh yeah, yeah putting green next door. I wonder who lives upstairs. But this is the old um, aircraft station. <clears throat> We must have a go at potting one day. Come round and pot some pots around the potting green. Eating a golf ball. Right. Life jackets used by the sailing club. Must be a kind of a club here. This way, no, I'll stop. Come here. I'm surprised you didn't do a figure of eight around. And the summer house is shut. I was going to buy a postcard. But we can't do that now. There's the Hornsey Sailing Club. And there's a bit of a slipway. Oh, well, there you go. The Environment Agency has confirmed the presence of a blue-green algae in these waters. Toxins may persist, which can be harmful to persons with severe symptoms, illness. Oh, there you go. That's why. That's why government agencies exist is to look after our safety. Yeah, there's nice few yachts there. In my younger years, I used to have a sailing dinghy. Yes, I had an International 505 made out of wood. And when I started going away to sea, my, I spent so much time away that, that the boat became either damaged by the frost or damaged by the sun and I was forever maintaining it and never actually sailing it. So I had to give it up because of my work, which is a pain. Oh look, we've got all those black crows there now. They're rooks, aren't they? They'll be uh, after the bird's food. Come on, this way.
Well, that was a short trip round the Hornsey Mere. Well, yes, there's a nice collection of uh, ducks, mallards, geese. Uh, what, what kind of geese are they? I think they might, they're not Brent geese, are they? They're not Canadian geese. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it clipped it at the back. Yeah, instead of the front. Mm. Yeah. The sun is warm, isn't it? The sky is a lovely blue colour today. Not a single cloud. Okay, I lied. There's clouds. Well, where we are, not a single cloud for miles, and it's baking hot. So, let's hop in the car and go and find somewhere where we can have a cup of tea. Okay, bye then.